Anthony Hartwig here with a Lakeview Volleyball Player Profile. I am joined by senior Brooke Schneider. Brooke, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Hello, thank you so much for having me. Like we said, it is your senior season. It's the last time, last go around with this Lakeview uh, volleyball team. Um, we're going down the stretch. Have you begun to get a little bit reflective on on just the fact that it is your last time? Yeah, it's actually crazy because we've been talking about our senior night for four years now, and now it's coming up next Thursday, and it's crazy. It's already here, and uh, our senior season's almost coming to an end. So you guys have been talking about it for a long time. So I got to <laughs> imagine that there were some um, thoughts about what it would look like, what, what you guys would be at when you were seniors back when you were freshmen. What were some of those conversations? What were some of those expectations that you had back then? And uh, how does it compare to where you are now? Well, we've always um, all been pretty close. And so we've always just hoped that it stayed that way in that first senior year. Um, we can have a really good season and that on senior night that um, hoping for a win and just that everything looks good and we all play well together and everything. You guys have been off to a fantastic uh, start this season so far. Just a one loss in conference and then, you know, that one loss in the in the Perry invitation over the weekend but still a great start to the season. Um, I know last year left you guys hungry. We've talked to Coach Guthrie about it. We've talked to some of your teammates about it. Um, the way last year went left you guys hungry. From your perspective, how much did you kind of look forward to this season? How much were you just motivated to win this season, especially in the summer workouts? In the summer workouts, we definitely put in a lot of work, and um, we were hoping that this season would turn out better and um we're definitely really hungry for the wins you know it stinks the two losses that we had but we're just gonna um learn from that and work through it for the tournament time so not many teams make a trip up like you did up to Perry to play at a big invitational with a lot of teams there a lot of teams that uh really showed out and, and a lot of talent there what was that like for you guys and and what was the experience like going a little bit, you know, traveling a little bit to play and, and being exposed to some teams that were unfamiliar to you guys? You know, we really enjoy going to that tournament. It's um, fun all around. It's a good team bonding moment. And just to play all those teams that we wouldn't normally see around here. It's a really good experience. All right. I know you guys do a lot of team bonding things. What's your favorite team bonding exercise that you were able to do this summer and this year that has made this group uh, so tight knit and so, uh, so, so good with chemistry? Um, we do a lot of team bonding, but um, one of my favorite things that we actually, we didn't get to do it this year. It didn't work out, but um, we usually have a scavenger hunt and there are, um, different teams our coach makes for us and we have to go around Cortland and take pictures and find things and mark off a checklist and whoever wins um, wins and kind of gets bragging rights and everything. I've heard some rumors that there's also a yearly prank put on, on Coach Guthrie. Has that happened yet this year? Can we talk about that? <laughs> um, yes, so there actually is a yearly prank that we do, but we have not had the chance to do it yet. We do it at our team sleepover. And we'll keep it, keep it yeah. on lock, right? <laughs> it's really funny. We've put forks in our yard, um, <laughs> slices of cheese on our windows. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we really enjoy doing that. It's a fun activity we do. Who comes up with that kind of stuff? Like slices of cheese. I've heard forks in the yard. <laughs> I've heard of that. But, like, slices of cheese on the window. Who comes? Who's the... Who's the mastermind of these these kind of uh, uh, these pranks? Usually it's been the seniors um, decide what they want to do for the prank and they kind of lead it and drive us around and everything. So this year we'll have to come up with something real good for when we do that. So how excited are you that you gonna you gonna be you get to be the mastermind this time around? You get to be the one that, that calls what you guys are gonna do and you get to be kind of the leaders of of the nefarious group of volleyball players on that sleep overnight yeah it's definitely really exciting and we have a lot of creative people throughout our five seniors so i'm sure we'll come up with something good this group of five that you guys have been playing with for so long you guys have been one of the dominant uh programs throughout your four years 
Um, now that you're in your last season with him, and I'm sure the, the relationship continues to grow every year, um, in what ways this year have you grown even closer to these five seniors? And uh, if you had to pick one that you maybe grew the most as far as a friendship with over the last four years, what senior do you think is the one that you have just gone from maybe just casual friends in freshman year to just the best of friends now this year? Um, I think I've definitely grown the closest to Maddie Bayes because um, we've both been passers in in the same situations and we kind of can bond over that and um, because um, we're the only two seniors kind of that position and so yeah I think that's really brought us a lot closer with volleyball and everything. I know you take a lot of pride in that defense, you and Maddie both, but uh, this year you've been swinging it pretty well as well from, from that outside. What's the better feeling in volleyball, the big dig or the big kill? You know, I've gone back and forth from this because I really do enjoy getting kills and I love playing outside and everything. But sometimes, you know, it's just to get a good, really good um, dig from – you know, we play some really amazing hitters, so it's just really exciting when you get that really good up. So I'd one, of say- that, one of the things that has always impressed me about the digs that you guys are able to get in other other teams to it too, like you, the play isn't over when you put that ball up in the air. You have to get up and be ready for whether it be a next hit, cover the hitter, whatever it may be. When you go down to the floor to get a dig, is there that second of panic of I better get up in time to be ready for the next play? Yeah, definitely. Um it's for digging it's really you have to be always ready and sometimes there's those plays where you're flopping all over the floor and you just have to do everything you can to make sure the ball doesn't hit the floor what do you think is the craziest dig or the biggest kind of you know up that you've had in your career can you like this one pop in your memory bank it's like i can't believe i got that ball um i'm not sure if one pops in my head but I know we had some pretty good um digs against Fitch when we played them this year and that was a really good game on both sides too so I'm gonna give you a chance to shout out maybe a, a an opposing player for a minute because like you said a lot of good hitters in this conference over the last four years that you guys have had a chance to go up against who has been the hardest hitter to defend that you guys have had to had the chance to to kind of square up against um, so actually this is kind of funny. So, you know, um, Lauren Pallone, I've played against her. She's in my, um, my grade, she's senior and her hits, um, are obviously really good, really hard and everything. Um, but I have a funny story. So my freshman year, um, her sister, Natalie Pallone was a senior and, I got put in that game and I remember my coach was telling me to scoot up and everything. And I felt I was pretty far up. I was almost at the 10 foot line and Natalie Pallone just spikes it right down in my lap. And I just like fell over and it was definitely really crazy because as a freshman, I didn't um, like, I wasn't a main component of the team. So um, seeing that was really crazy then so that was your welcome to volleyball moment right <laughs> yeah it was uh, how much do you think that moment shaped kind of you know what you began to do and how much you kind of you know got used to that uh that atmosphere and that level of volleyball yeah it definitely really did help shape that because the next year sophomore year um we were limited with upperclassmen so our team was mainly um we had a lot of sophomores on our team. We were very young. So that first, um, my freshman year of volleyball, getting in varsity and everything is always a crazy experience because it wasn't something that happened so regularly. So um, it de- that moment definitely helped shape that the coming moments on sophomore year, junior, and now senior. When we talked to Coach Guthrie about you uh, the other week, uh, she said the the thing that she's most impressed with the, the growth from this year is your serving. How much work have you put in your serves this year, and, and how proud are you so far of your ability to really spot serve and be aggressive yet consistent with your serve this season? 
Yeah, so my serve last year was definitely very inconsistent, and this year it's definitely improved. Um, she helped me a lot focus more on my toss because my toss was more so the inconsistent part because anytime I miss a serve, even this year, it's mainly because my um, something was wrong with my toss. So she really helped me over the summer get that down and get a better serve. What's your service line routine? I know everyone has one that they have to stick to. What's your go-to uh, routine on the service line? So my teammates um, always make fun of me for this because they say the gym goes silent because I take so long back there. But I just kind of dribble the ball with two hands, twirl it a couple times until it feels right, and then I just uh, serve it over. But, yeah, it's definitely – not a very quick serving routine compared to others. <laughs> Have you ever thought about like once or, or maybe once in a match when the other team is used to taking so long to quick serving them? <laughs> um, I actually, I've never thought about that because, um, yeah, I don't know. That would, that'd be good to throw them off. Maybe, <laughs> maybe an idea. Yeah. Roll into a false sense of security. Mm -hmm. If you do, you better give me a shout out. Be like, I w yeah. yeah. Uh, when you, uh, the other thing about this team is they are so good at social media. The TikTok brand is mm -hmm. real for Lakeview Volleyball. I know Maddie Bayes does a really good job with that, but what kind of thing, what kind of um, energy does that give your team and what does that do for this program to, to just have a little fun on all, all your road trips and be able to, to make those TikToks and those Instagram reels? You know, we really like doing the TikToks and it's always cool to see um, the finished product when she's done with them. And I know, um, everybody loves them. I'll have my principals and everything telling me that what they liked. And actually, when I um, I always imitate the mascot after every away game, <laughs> and so I'll get critiqued about that or anything. So I, yeah, we really do enjoy the TikToks, and I think it brings a nice. Um, it's a good way to promote our volleyball program too. What's been the hardest mascot to come up with a, 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 a whatever you call it, a, a demonstration of? Um, I struggle a lot with the birds. The um, Canfield Cardinal and the Hubbard Eagle, really, I they weren't my best, but. <laughs> I think the, the Canfield one, you did the beak, right? <laughs> yeah, with, with my hand. Uh, what about like, which one do you think like I nailed that? Um, I think maybe the, um, pirate from South range with like, <laughs> I think that one's pretty good. All right. So, um, I'm going to, I'm going to hit it up this, this, this too. You have a lot of good gyms that you get to go to outside of your home gym. You can't use that as an answer. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite road trip or the favorite gym that you get to go and plan? So actually, I've only been to this gym once. I would say it's probably Mineral Ridge. I remember we played them last year um, at their place, and I just kept saying this gym is so nice. It was just – it was the first time I'd ever been there, and I just really enjoyed it. It was a really nice gym and everything. With your gym being kind of a smaller one, do you struggle when you go to bigger gyms trying to, like, you know, key in where the serve goes, trying to find a spot to aim it? I've heard some players struggle with that. Do you? Yeah, you know, sometimes um, when the gyms, the end line is different in compared to the foul line on the basketball court. And I know at our gym, I like to sit my defense right on the foul line. And at other gyms, I'll find myself looking side to side to see where I am in compared to the end line if the foul line and end line don't match up evenly. All right, Burke, before I let you go, got to get to know you a little bit off the floor. Got to get some rapid fire questions to, to uh, see what you see, what things you like off the off the volleyball floor. I will ask you first, what is one of your hidden talents that you have that uh, other people might not know that you're good at? Um, one of my hidden talents. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if I have many. I can't. <laughs> I can't think of any. Um hidden talents I have. All right. If we were going to take you to karaoke night, uh, what would be your go-to karaoke song? So I was on vacation um, and I actually sung Oops, I Did It Again by Britney Spears on karaoke. So 
I'd say that one. How would you grade your performance? Uh, like five, six? It, yeah, it was definitely not super fantastic. It was probably a four or five, but it definitely got better as it went on. The nerves kind of settled out. Do you guys sing on the bus? And if so, who's the loudest singer? Um, we don't sing on the bus, but sometimes Emma, Emma Schmader, she'll walk around singing her songs and everything, and it's kind of funny. All right. When uh, you think about yourself, sunrise or sunset, are you a night person or a morning person? I don't wake up early very often, but I do think... I would rather see a sunrise than a sunset because since I don't wake up early that often, it's kind of making it like a big deal and going out to see the sunrise and everything. So I'd say sunrise. What is one of your guilty pleasure desserts that uh, you always put in your body, no matter how unhealthy it is? Um, I really love gummies and like Haribo gummies, any kind they make. I really like them. <laughs> Who is the one player on the team that uh, is the biggest goofball? Um, I would probably have to say a lot of the sophomores, they're goofballs. I'd say uh, Mallory Mylock, she's a goofball, and Regan Price, too. They're both. <laughs> Who takes things the most serious? Um, even though I just named – uh reagan for <laughs> the goofball she definitely knows when to calm it down and be pretty serious and everything um if you had to pick one teammate that kind of you know embody that perfect teammate characteristic or the selflessness uh the one that everyone kind of strives to be like who would you pick uh, i would pick maggie pavlansky yeah um, what are your leadership qualities? I know you're a senior leader. What kind of things do you like to do to lead the team? Um, to lead the team, I kind of um, – I like to lead both on the court and off the court. But, um, you know, just little things at practice and on in the games and everything, I like to bring people up, make sure they're doing good and everything. And just if someone's, like, down on themselves, try and bring them up and everything. All right, Brooke, before we let you go, I want to give you the chance to shout out your support system, all the people that have been there for you throughout your career, and uh, all the people that you wouldn't be where you are without. Um, definitely all my family, uh, my both, both my parents, my mom, my dad especially, So, yeah. and my teammates and my coaches and everything, and I wouldn't be here where I am without them, so. All right. We want to thank you so much for taking the time to, to be with us today. Uh, we wish you the best of luck the rest of your senior season, and we look forward to talking to you again real soon. Yeah, thank you so much for having me.